In today's headlines, more people are fed up with the government's sloppy and vague guidelines concerning the happy plant. But at least the easing of the mask mandate is finally made official. All this and much more is coming up in today's program. Thailand News Today is brought to you by Five Star Marine. You're watching Thailand News Today, bringing you the latest top stories in Thailand and beyond. My name is Jet Gunther, and in our first story, the opposition will be going after the government for its botched happy plant decriminalization and legalization laws, or specifically their lack of details and the loose ends left dangling for Thais and foreigners to navigate. Politics aside, the June 9th announcements about the sea plant in Thailand were broadly misinterpreted to be a blanket legalization of the plant and all of its derivatives. The actual details and legislation have not even been tabled in parliament for debate, so the opposition is now targeting the government over its botched announcements on what some believe is a crucial and consequential issue. The actual details and legislation have not even been tabled in parliament for debate, so the opposition is now targeting the government over its botched announcements on what some believe is a crucial societal issue that requires a proper debate. The opposition parties, led by Puatai and Move Forward, will likely focus on hot issues like underage addiction, school kids and drugs, illicit drug use in Thailand, perils of long-term use, dangers to society among a myriad of topics. The topic also brings additional focus to the Deputy Prime Minister and Public Health Minister Anutin Chan Virakun, whose Pumjai Thai party has championed the changes to Thailand's treatment of the plant as a Category 5 drug. The Prime Minister and his conservative government, without any finalized legislation to point to at this stage, will be forced into backing Anutin and his party's sweeping changes to Thailand's generally conservative approach to drugs in the past. The opposition will hammer the coalition on their lack of legislative preparation, health advice, warnings, guides or restrictions. The censure debates are scheduled for July the 12th till the 15th. Bangkok Governor Shachat Siripan also admits he fears for the health and safety of Thailand's children after the decriminalization of the sea plant on June the 9th. He fears the lack of guidelines and accompanying legislation has led to confusion and incorrect assumptions following the announcement. The 56-year-old voiced his concerns at Wishu Tit School in Bangkok's Dindan district while promoting a project to procure safety helmets for young children. Chachat says he has asked schools to make children aware of the potential harmful effects of the plants by producing pamphlets and hanging up posters. The city chief also urged local businesses near the schools to join a crusade to steer children away from the plants that have happy properties. The governor said the decriminalization of the plants, which are now widely available, could harm students. He acknowledged that he was aware that Wishu Tit School is adjacent to Prasong Kra Road, where several shops sell happy plants, and says it is a concern, while there has been no follow-up legislation from the Thai government. On a separate issue, Chachat said he is concerned about the number of children traveling to school on motorcycles without a helmet. He revealed a survey that showed that 70% of the 270,000 young students attending schools within the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration do not wear helmets on motorcycles, and he wants to change that. And Bangkok is a lot further ahead of the wearing of bike helmets when compared to other provinces in Thailand, where a bike helmet is a rare sight on young students. Choose your trip to your favorite island with Five Star Marine. Go to fivestarmarinephuket.com. And as you've probably heard the good news from Jay and Natty this morning, the wearing of face masks is officially voluntary in outdoor areas, as per the latest edict published in the Royal Gazette. It states the wearing of a mask is a voluntary practice from now onwards so that people can now live closer to normal conditions. The Ministry of Public Health now only recommends the general public to wear a mask when living with other people in a crowded space. 
in areas where there is a large gathering of people where they can't maintain social distancing or in a poorly ventilated place to reduce the risk of transmission of, or infection. Interpreting that, basically you can walk around the streets and public spaces but still need to wear one, say, when hopping on public transport. While the official announcement raises plenty more questions, the real-life result should be that we will see fewer people walking around the streets of Thailand with face masks. But just how quickly Thais and expats reverse their two-year habits is yet to be seen. Many speculate that, just like in Singapore, there will still be a core of residents who will just keep wearing masks in public places for the foreseeable future. On the other hand, private businesses will also be able to apply their own mask-wearing rules. It is also likely that all Thai government offices and schools will continue with a mask-wearing policy at this time. The announcement is already in effect. Now that several COVID-19 restrictions are easing in Thailand, the country's employment rate is expected to spike this year. The managing director of the job search platform, JobsDB, said the platform expects Thailand's employment rate to jump by 20 to 50 percent, depending on the sector. The platform conducted a survey on job applications last year. The career fields that received the most applications were sales, customer service, and business development, with 14% of people applying to jobs in these fields. Next, 11% of people applied to jobs in marketing and public relations. But the field with the highest demand for work right now is, of course, the IT sector. JobCB says that even though salaries in IT have increased, employers are having a tough time finding enough workers. IT companies are on the hunt for programmers, software developers, data scientists, and analysts, among others. JobsDB Managing Director Duong Pon Promon said that workers who have skills to support the metaverse are especially wanted right now. Duong Pon said companies can do a better job at attracting new employees by offering hybrid work policies and challenging work. She said that hybrid work policies will help companies avoid mass resignations. While the U.S. and Singapore have adapted to remote work, Duong Pon said big conglomerates in Thailand are working on this still. She added that with the world's booming inflation, businesses need to seek more revenue to raise salaries for their employees to cope with higher costs. Local authorities have banned vendors from operating on Na Jom Tien Beach after they had colonized a new stretch of the seaside resort in Pattaya to sell their products. The authorities issued the directive following a conflict over the public spaces on the popular beach between local sellers in Pattaya and visitors. In April, authorities added more sand to the seaside spot to make the beach 800 meters longer. The new space was created for tourists to enjoy, but merchants, local businesses, and hawkers quickly moved onto the area, setting up stalls, tables, and chairs, denying any access to people wanting to use the sandy area. Tourists complained to Pattaya authorities that local vendors parked their food carts at the parking area along the beach and blocked them from accessing the beach and parking lot. The merchants' carts also caused huge traffic problems on the road. The dispute between vendors and visitors culminated at a meeting yesterday, where five local government organizations agreed that local vendors had set up their shops without permission. Officials stated that they had taken over public spaces for their benefit and caused many issues like trash problems, conflicts among sellers themselves, and traffic jams. The meeting concluded by declaring a bylaw banning all businesses from reserving spaces on the beach, sidewalks, and roads to operate for personal benefit. The law comes into effect on Monday, June the 27th. Moreover, the cooking of food, selling food or products, parking food carts, or setting up shops on roads, sidewalks, and public spaces violates the Public Cleanliness Act. People who break these restrictions could face a fine of up to 2,000 baht. And that's all for our report from Thailand News Today. We'll be back again on Monday. Meanwhile, you're now up to date on The Tiger.